uh, getting it ready and then I helped out um, I went to a few estate sales and then I went to secondhand stores I went to antique store um, so it's kind of a haul of this week so I'm gonna start with one of my favorite ones um, I went to an estate sale with with um, my mom and for three dollars that's the bottom part and this hopefully bring this up I should have thought of this yesterday, but I didn't. Okay, so I can see there's a chip on it, but that's okay. Quite a few fell on. Forgot about that. So I got this tree right here. And it's a kind of a small tree. But um, I've been wanting one for a while. And this one has birds on it. It's the first time I've ever seen one with birds on it. Well, this bird's broken. That's okay though. I don't need all the birds to be there. Besides, they're very dusty, so I have to clean them off. Um, let's see where else. So this whole thing here was $3. Um, I've looked Okay, so I see there's some birds missing, which again, fine. But it was, like I said, it was $3. There's a chip on top. Try to take this off. And I'm gonna turn it on, see what happens. Like I said, it's really dusty. So I got that one. I also got a bigger one. Oh, I love it. So I got a bigger one. I guess, oh here. Some of the birds are just falling out. Oops. Oops. Like this one just broke, so. They taped it on there. Okay, so that I got from an estate sale. I got it for $3. I also got this, which this is sterling silver, and this is horse hair. So, um, wood on top. I really liked it. This was only a dollar. Um, let's see. This is kind of my jewelry for the week. I got these earrings today at a antique store. So they're blue stone. They're cool to the touch. I don't know what kind of stone they are. I think it's like a dyed stone, but this part here is 14 karat gold and I got them for $12. I really, I thought that was, I thought that was a good deal. Um, so I got that at, at a thrift store today. I also, this was the other find I got at the thrift store. I love this. So it's, it was made in Mexico. It says 925. It also has like a maker's mark. 3S3B, 3S3. I'm not sure. But I'm assuming it's a keychain. But in order to open it, you push this down. And then up, down, and up. I really liked it. I think I'm going to put it on a necklace, basically, is what I'm going to do. Um, so that I, those two things I got, this one was 70 and Angus, no, this was $79. This, this did cost me, but it's really unusual, really unusual. So I liked that there. 
Um, so I'm going to show you what I got at the estate sale first. Um, And yes, no, sorry, that's my dog. So um, one of the first things I got is this um, micro mosaic pen. I have a, f I have maybe two of these. Um, when I get them at a really good price, I try, I try and get them. This was only a dollar, so I really, I grabbed it. And it just says Italy on the back there. Um, I got this, this hat pen here. Um, it's roses. It's um, I don't think it's enamel. I think it's just painted over the, the metal, but it does say 14 karat um, gold plated. So this is 14 karat gold plated. Um, I'm starting to collect some hat pins. I don't know why, I just think they're really cool. And I got this here. This one I thought was really unusual. This feels like glass, almost like um, it wanting to look jade-ish like um, with this in the middle. It doesn't have a mark, it does have a marking, sorry. It says Regency. So um, I haven't looked it up. I don't know what it, how much it would be, but I, I liked it. I thought it was cool, cool pin. Add to my pin collection. I also got this pin here. This um, is, it looks like a perfume bottle. Um, so it has the little little glass thing still, which I think is cool. Again, forgive me. Dog. Angus. Nice. Um, it has um, Angus. Nice. It has. Um, an embroidered flower right there. It's not marked anywhere. I looked at it. Um, I just did. I did think it was cool because it's it's like a perfume bottle, um, perfume pen. So I thought that was cool. I also got this. I thought it was neat. I'm not sure what it is exactly. Um, it looks almost like. Well, it looks like some sort of rock climbing or has an enamel flower in front. It's not marked at all anywhere. And the only thing it does have is this here, which looks like it used to have green on it. I don't know what happened, but um, sorry about the lighting. We're in my kitchen. So I like this pen too. Um, I got this sterling silver. Looks like it was probably gold plated, but it's sterling silver. It has the 925 on it. It says Italy and then 925. Um, and this is just, just a bracelet. I got this watch here. It doesn't have a name, which I thought was unusual, but in the back it does say 10 karat gold filled um again i thought it was unusual for it not to have a name on the watch itself it doesn't but it is um at least the watch itself is 10 what do you say 10 karat gold filled this one i thought was neat too this one is a hamilton i think No, actually, I don't think it's a Hamilton. It's a Waltron. It has, like, green on it. Like, 
sometimes you know how jewelry gets that green stuff not sure what exactly it is but in the back it also says um metal bezel metal bezel but what i thought was unusual too is this bracelet it comes with i think here it says 14 karat gold filled too the bracelet part of it which now that i look at it is is quite unusual um the way it's it's um see how it kind of grabs there and grabs there i liked i liked that um so yeah i got those two watches there then i got this watch this watch is a hamil this is the hamilton um not that big of a deal it's 10 karat gold rolled gold um uh, plated bezel and then stainless steel back but it has little tiny diamonds all the way around it. Well, every other little thing I thought was neat. So all these watches cost me a dollar each. So I thought that was cool. So um, I got this, this crown brooch, um, not signed. I just liked the crown and um, the rhinestones really pretty then i got this bracelet here which kind of got tangled a little bit just kind of thin looks kind of thin there um but it does say a patent and this is sterling on it um it's just kind of a flower in the middle surrounded it, it has an unusual i think an unusual opening and closing so you put it in and then close it Generally, they're not like that. But that was neat. Um, I have this is a costume piece. It's a brooch, and it's a a uh, pendant, and it says Saint Labri, and it comes on this this long chain. Um, the chain doesn't really say anything. It's not marked or anything, but I do like the way it looks. I think it's very pretty. It was also only like a dollar. It was, it was like nothing. Then I have this necklace. I forget the name of the stone. I always forget the name of the stone. Um, but it's, um, it's tied between each one which I like. I like necklaces that are tied between each one. Um, it's a sign of good, better quality than just strung up. Then I got this here. This is some sort of, I don't know if it's a stopwatch, if it's a clock. It does work when you wind it up, but there is no opening. It looks like it's probably gold filled has uh an engraving on it a monogram um i can lift this and then turn it and then um kind of close it back up and then after a while after you move around it starts going it starts taking away um have I don't know how this would even be open to tell you the truth I mean I'm assuming it can be opened there is that line there but I can't there you go and so you can pick it up and wind it I don't know how to change the time either I don't know how to do that but it starts ticking away the second hand starts ticking away so I'm not sure about it. There's no, I can't see any markings on it besides that. It does say W.W. Matthews, Winnipeg, M-A-N. Um, the crystal is kind of 
very scratched up or somewhat scratched up. I mean, you see the names, there's the second hands. There's also like military time, you know, 13, 14, 15, 16. I don't know. I just don't know that much about it. It's big. Um, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know anything about it actually. So then, um, go on. I'm going to go on to, um, a flea market I went to. And this is what I got at the flea market. So I got this. And the reason I got this is because I like the opening and closing of it. Is really why I got it. Um, because sometimes I, I try to fix some jewelry if it's broken and whatever. But I thought this was a nice piece to have. I'll... Um, some rhinestones are missing, but you can't really tell. I just really like this piece here. I got this piece here, which I really like. Okay, so it's an apple. And it's this. I don't know what it is. No clue. It, it does have sterling on it. But I don't know. I don't know what it would be. If anybody knows, let me know. Remember? Oh, now's a good time to say. Please like and subscribe. Hit the little bell icon. Every time I upload a video, you'll be able to see it. Um, but uh, I always forget to say that since I just started. But so, yeah, I really like it. I, sh I just don't know what it is. But I got that for $10. I definitely like it. So I got a little pair of sterling silver studs. I always like these for like the the higher ear piercings that I have. Oh look at I just noticed there's a missing one. That sucks. Maybe it's in the bag. I don't remember it missing before. Oh, I'll have to look for something. Um sterling silver studs. I got these, they were like a dollar. I forgot to mention I got this at the estate sale. Um, I don't think it's that big of a deal. It it has a marking. I can't. It's just like a maker's mark. It doesn't say anything, but it, it looks like a little Buddha. And it's I don't know if it's jade or what. I can't tell. But it's plastic glass. It's so tiny. I can't really tell. It looks like stone, but I'm not sure. Okay, then, um, then I got this from an estate sale. Let's see here. I really liked this. It's a crystal. It says love. It's made by Hallmark. It's nothing extremely special, no big deal. I don't, it's not sterling silver. It just marked Hallmark on it. Um, but I do like the crystal on there. And I think I think it is crystal. Maybe. Or maybe not. I think it's, maybe it's just glass. But it's really pretty. So another thing I got at the flea market is this thing here that just basically says gin on it. I've always liked these things that go on the bottles. Um, it'd be nice to have a full set of them. Of course, I don't have any... Um, liquor bottles in my house so but I just think they're they're really cool so this is gin on the back it says Stife Pewter Historic Newport Approved not sure I haven't looked it up yet then I got um I got this which I really enjoy also um at the estate sale it says it says Schaefer candle snuffer circa 1740 replic replication really liked it it's very pretty very heavy I doubt it's drilling um, but it's really good um, it's in a bag so it doesn't get dirty um, it says the candle snuffer in is used since 1600s was treated was a treasured silver piece 
and a fine English home during the region of Henry VIII. The charm of candle light is no less today and the candle snuffer is again an essential part of household, household silver. Inspired by Cavalier Helmet in Warwick Castle, England, Jurity has a, adapted its ideal form in design a candle snuffer of simple and, of, and elegance. Notice the traditional rat tail design made of heavy plated silver. Oh, so it's very heavy plated silver. It is heavy, I will tell you that. It has a bunch of numbers right here. But I thought that was cool. Um, like I said, it's really heavy. But um, I got other stuff too. Oh, I got this. So I found this at the flea market too. It says uh, weight one, 1.3 Swiss blue topaz oval clean Valley M Mazda one. I'm not sure what all that means, but here's the stone. So it is a blue topaz, which is my daughter's um, birthstone. And I got it for like a couple dollars. So I thought that was cool. So, um, I am going to put some of this stuff in my eBay store. I don't know when. My, my son is the one who helps me out a lot in that department. Um, but I will be putting it up. So of course, some of the stuff I keep. Um, but if you know anything about any of this, let me know because I don't. Not yet, anyways. I haven't researched any of it. Um, besides, my research abilities aren't the best anyways. But um, like I said, like, subscribe, and um, see you next time. Bye.